All right, so we already know that salinity changes on the surface of the ocean depending on where we're located and what processes like evaporation, precipitation, sea ice formation, and sea ice melting. So depending on what's happening, we change the salinity at that location. But the question is, how does salinity change with depth? So to visualize that, we can create a nice graph and take a look at the changes in our salinity. So we're gonna draw a table like this. We're going to put our salinity in parts per thousand on the top, and we're going to go from 33 parts per thousand to 37. So we'll have 35, 34, and 36. And on our vertical axis, we're going to have our depth and it will be in meters, and we're going to go from zero, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, and 4,000. And so when we go out to places, we find that there are two different curves that we start to see. In our high latitudes, so this would be in our polar areas, what we see is that we have low, we have lower salinity. And in our high latitudes, so this is our, excuse me, these are our high latitudes. So high latitudes are up by the poles, 90 degrees north and south latitude would be high latitudes. And then if we look at our low latitudes, we have high salinity. So our low latitudes are our more tropical latitudes. So things around zero degrees latitude, 15 degrees north and south latitude, etc. So we get this shape where these two curves kind of come together and they both approach 35 parts per thousand with depth. So this change occurs right about um, at a thousand meters. And so between, right through here, between this area, this is about 300 to 1,000 meters, we see this zone where we have a change in salinity with depth. And this is the location of our halocline. I'm gonna write this in a darker color. So this is the halocline. And the halocline is just a layer in the ocean where we have a rapid change in salinity with depth. Okay, and so what we can see in the high latitudes is that this halocline goes from being a low salinity to a higher salinity, so that it's an increasing salinity with depth. And at our low latitudes, we have a high salinity and it is decreasing with depth as it gets down below that layer. Okay, so again, what this helps us see is that the changes in salinity are really up in the top layer of our ocean. So it's between zero and a thousand meters below the surface. So salinity, the changes that we're seeing are all driven by those surface processes, okay? So those surface processes that change salinity are precipitation, evaporation, and we have sea ice formation and melting. Okay, so those four things are what's controlling these changes that we have. All right, and then this layer, these lines where we have this rapid change in salinity, that's our halocline. And overall, this tells us how salinity varies with depth at different latitudes on the Earth's surface.